Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. So this has been a Korean release so far, and we're still waiting for Global to be released. But on the on the other hand, we can already play the Korean server with an English patch, which I will discuss with you in a while. Before we go to that, I'm gonna be going over the game. How has it been? I'm actually late into this party. I started this game probably two weeks after it launched. I was actually finding a way out to play it, but ultimately, ultimately found um, this PC client that I could play it in and also the patch that is included in what I'm going to be discussing later. So again, this is going to be a comprehensive review starting with your ui so you know um just let me go rewind a bit this is a grid based tactical turn based rpg okay so it's tactical turn based and it's grid it's similar to your final fantasy tactics so for those who are final fantasy tactics uh, fans out there you're gonna love this game because that is why i fell in love with this game by the way um, the best thing about it, it's 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 uh, the, the graphics is better, of course. Um, and we'll go into the other details, like the UI. Let's say, for example, this is your campsite. This is your main UI. So navigation here is not really a problem. Here's a map here on where you want to go. If you want to go directly to dimensions, shop, records, hero. Um, you can actually go through this map. It's better. It's uh, quicker. Then you have your inbox. You have your chat. This is your going to be your, you know, friends here. It's going to go over requests here. Then just uh, give them a gift while we're at it. So that is um, your top most UI, your interface, UX. Um, then this one is uh, the sandwich here icon is your energy energy for this game is really 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 small so so far your progress is going to be uh, hampered by the lack of energy for the game um, this is your summoning currency you can also um, you can also get this uh, you can also convert this as your energy but I do not recommend that at this point and this is your gold. Sorry for that one. So this is your gold. Um, and the rest is your UI. So moving on to your progression rewards. So your records will hold some of your progression rewards. And by the way, um, the shifting between scenes is actually smooth. Um, this has a low setting that I set on because I've been having a problem with my PC overheating because I'm using also... Um, I'm trying to record my screen as well, so it's it's very heavy on PC. So um, going back to log, these are your rewards as well. So progression rewards. So in going to the event, you have your progression rewards here up to level 40. Hope that they um, give more rewards beyond level 40 because this is only up to level 40. Uh, although you, this gives you a lot of draws for your equipment and also for the banners. This is your semi-day login event. So, so far the rewards are good, very good for both progression and login. I do hope that this is not just up until the honeymoon stage. So, I hope this goes beyond, goes beyond six months, goes beyond a year. And that will we will have to find out. So far... It's looking like it's going to be free to play friendly, but I'm holding my final decision right after six months. I still have to play the game. So um, just to be fair to everyone. So these are your events. These are your banners. So you have an equipment banner. You have several banners here that are that just arrive. So one, this one for Charlotte, this has been from the start. Uh, Gabriel is also new. And uh, Erica, this is also from the start. So, uh, if you want my opinion on who you should pick, actually, they have a lot of, you know, they have a lot of events. Unfortunately, some of them, some of the text is not translated to 
to Korean, so I'm actually having difficulty um, participating in some. But if you are a beginner, please do re-roll for Charlotte. She's going to be your main um, character. Um, she's going to be a main character in terms of going to drive your progress throughout the game. So... Uh, this one is, um, this is your ghost story. This is actually an event that has dropped as well. This is a new event. Um, this dropped last week of December. So they have a lot of events. Um, most of the events are for farming, which is actually, I don't know, not for farming and also for summons. So it's a mix of currency that they're giving out. The mercenaries journey, this one, there was this one person that, ask if this character this one clarice is uh free to play so and and that that person commented as well that 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 they saw here uh there's a part here where you have to buy something one time purchase package from the shop you don't need to get this you can still get clarice okay so you don't need to purchase just have to do all of the other things here because again guys you can still get clarice even if you don't do a purchase okay i just want to clear that out and it extends to the second week which uh, has a lot more goodies and again you don't really need to purchase anything to get these items okay so going back again a seamless transition from menu to menu then you have your records. Um, the records, again, is your progression rewards. Some of it are here. The shop is decent at this point. My my only comment is it lacks um, energy. You know, and, uh, you can't, I, I don't, I don't, I haven't found good value for energy here. So I won't go, I, I, I won't delve into the shop at this point. Um, the shop is, unlike any other shop, it actually makes you purchase things. But again, if you're free to play, um, this shop is kind of on the middle because you have here your rare, your guild, your fame, arena, and exchange. So far, it's it. You know, I'm I'm still uh, on the fence here, uh, waiting for judgment. If I'm gonna say that this the shop is good in terms of value. At this point, they lack packages for the small packages. They have most of most of the packages that they have is big, and they don't have much for energy. So that is my comment for the shop. For the guild, so far there is cooperation. You just have to help your guildmates, and there's a mission every Tuesday and Friday for you guys to participate in, which is actually good for a game. Okay, so um, your bag is just simply your inventory. So just make sure that you claim items here that need to be claimed. And for the summon... Okay, so for the summon... Um, there are a lot of... Uh, what do you call this? There are a lot of currencies that you can get. Especially this, this one, the star... So you can get the star, you can farm these throughout the game. 88 is one pull. Then this is going to be your SSR, the key to heaven. So you're going to need this. So one of these equals 88 of the star. So that's it. So, so far we, we've had banners that have left. Um, if you starting now, then you must get Charlotte first. Um... My second priority for you guys would be Gabriel. If you can get at least one of each of them, then the next would be um, Semi. This is Gabriel. This is Erica. This is Charlotte. So Charlotte, Gabriel, Semi, and Erica for um, for the for the heroes or the characters. They, by the way, have a. They, by the way, have a, um, what they call this, a banner here, which is going to give you a limited, a, a, what they call this, a specific weapon, a rate up for a specific weapon. So you don't really need to farm this now. You could continuously farm these, uh, this banner um, as you progress the game. You don't have to spend more on the weapon banner, spend more on the summon banner. Or save more for the uh, summon banner. 
because again um select wish equipment so this is new so let's uh let's select one here let's check okay so this is a new banner actually which is a rate up but this is limited this is a limited banner in which you can get here this you know this um ssr armor but i'm now you know um preferring that you guys invest in this one because these are the exclusive weapons for your characters and um the, the pity system for the equipment is roughly at 60 then but for your banner it is going to be at 90. okay so now that you know that you'll have a more or less um, better time deciding which ones you're going after. Okay, so that is your summon. Then let's go to your heroes. Okay, so for your heroes, um, let's try to take a look at Gabriel, my favorite. So for, for usually for a character, there are three things that you should level up so your rune uh, rune gives you stats give you gives you abilities traits as well you have to select which route you have to take so for each of the characters they have specific routes that you need to build them so i'm gonna go through each of the characters that we have right now um uh, discuss their build in future videos and for the equipment, the equipment needs to be farmed, needs to be leveled up. And as you can see here, you need um, exclusive weapons for your, um, for each, for each of your, what do you call this, of your SSR. So you can farm that in that banner that I mentioned earlier. So again, the character design in this game is actually, actually kind of common but also unique in its way. Like say, for example, for Gabriel, um, one of the most unique characters that I've seen. Some of the some of the skins or costumes that they have are generic. Some of them are pretty uh, unique as well. So again, for you to level up uh, rune traits and equipment, level those up to take up your character. Level up also um, the level of your character depending on your level cap for your account. And uh, if you want to swap or get more traits or uh, skills, you can actually uh, get them in the trait section. So that is where you will be able to customize more of your character. Each cast, uh, character is very customizable depending on your play style, depending on how you want to use them. And also um, has a factor if you want to put them in auto, the skills will have to, skill customization will have to play a big part. So again, these are the heroes. Um, we have a few of the um, classes shooter. You have your priest, you have your mage, you have your warrior, you have your tank, warrior again, you have your assassin. So I think there are one two three three four five around six around six unique classes if i may say i will go um more to the academy uh, in a while to check out all the character classes but you more or less have six so going back here so right after all this interface and all the sections here let's go let's go to the promised land the promised land is going to be a section wherein you construct um uh your facilities your buildings uh this is where you go on your dispatch you dispatch heroes here and you have you get materials as you can see there you get uh recruitment material you know you can get recruitment materials here so not a bad way to you know to farm your recruitment materials it's actually being given as part of your dispatch which is nice so there you go so your barracks is going to be for your dispatch the general store would be you know for additional items that that you are farming based on 
what you need. So you need to display a couple of things so that it constantly farms and you just have to collect them um, after a while. Okay, so training ground, this also keeps you, you know, um, farming as well. So I haven't, <laughs> I must confess, I haven't played much of the training ground so far, but I'll do that after this video. So, so mana workshop, these are also farming for materials. So if you want to order some things, just have to click on, and production is actually limited for this one. So you have to keep an eye on for this one. Okay, so mana workshop, mana furnace. Is, this is fabrication of uh, fabrication of equipment. If uh, this is one that, that that I was talking about, so the academy here is actually customization. Depending on, as I've said, it's going to be six classes: your warrior, shooter, tanker, mage, priest, and ranger. So each of the class has specific customizations that you need to develop especially if you are leaning towards warrior you're using more warriors you're using more tankers you're using more mages you're using you know it depends upon you but warrior class is mostly um most of your character is going to be at least you're going to be having two shooter at least one or two tanker at least one mage at least one priest at least one or you know priest one mage you can have two Ranger, you can have two as well. So, shooter, tanker, uh, shooter, right? Your ranger is your assassin, sorry. Your ranger, only one. Shooter is your ranger. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. So, shooter, you have two. You can get two. Tanker, you can get one. Mage, two. Priest, one. Ranger, one. But warrior is, I think, your first... Um, investment so far. So, you will be... You know, uh, unlocking additional stats for your warrior class or any other class that you wish to level up. So this, uh, we're gonna be going to where you're gonna be uh, farming all of these materials in a while. So this is actually your. We do, they don't have a dorm system, so it's a facility in which you have to build and farm things here. Dispatches here. So let's go back. Okay, so we're done with the UI. We're done with the promised land, which is your construction. So the last part that I'm going to be discussing is going to be the adventure part. So in your adventure, this is where the story comes in. If you're kind of lost in the map on where to go next, it's kind of confusing right now because I've already gone all over the place. You just have to go here and click on this one. Um, your lead character will just take you to where you're going to be going. Then, again, it's going to be automatic. So, just going to go back and exit from this one. I'm sorry I took you there. So, we're going to do a you know a small game gameplay in a bit. So, But right now, let's just finish the adventure part. So, if you want to go back to the campsite, obviously it's here. And the map is also here for easier navigation. So, this is your main story. This is your episode. This is your sub-story if you have sub-stories here. These are your unexpected meetings, which you can also um, go through because they give you materials for leveling up, um, equipment, traits, whatever. So, it's all here. So, don't forget... the. Uh, as you can see here, there are icons specific to uh, what they call this, what you're going to get. So here is um, XP. And uh, down here, let's start with uh, Space Time Arena. So for Space Time Arena, um, this is your PvP. So you have here challenge. These are your you know uh, rewards to receive. Sorry, I went back. So rewards to receive. Ranking is here. Defense. If you want to set up your defense, you can actually set up your defense here. Let's set up. Let's reset up my defense. I haven't reset up my defense so far. This has been with an older team in which I continuously am being massacred here. I'm sure. So let's uh, put up. Um, not you. Okay, Charlotte. There you go. So this is so far my team. For defense and for offense, it's a generic one. So far, I've been you know using a team so far since I got Charlotte this afternoon. And 
Um, as you go along and progress, as you can see, there are points rewarded depending on the type of PvP you want to challenge. So this is the easiest, this is intermediate, this is the most difficult here. So as you go along, you get rewards again for your store, for the shop. So that is it. So for the shop, um, these are the items that you can get. They, they are good items, by the way. Uh, most of them are, are what they call this, belong to equipment. Um, it, and it really helps. So going back to your PvP, if you want to refresh, you can refresh. But you will be spending stars for this one. So I, if you cannot really um, compete with the plus two, plus three, then you go with the plus one as you go along so so far i'm uh, my score is a 1007 rankings very very low i haven't been playing pvp that much but um the game is not centered on pvp so much it's centered on the story and all of the other content this one i like this um because this adds to your farming for your team okay so going back um we have a we have two more contents to talk about so this is where you guys are going to be farming, you know, a lot. So for dimensions, um, the materials that you're going to be farming here is going to be used for your traits. As you can see here, these are important materials for your traits. Traits equals abilities and also skills. So you're going you're, you're gonna to want to, you know, farm these when you need them. Do not farm these when when you don't need them. So it depends on which hero your or character you're gonna level up. Then you go here and farm. So that's it. So going back after your dimensions, um, you're gonna go to secrets. So secrets has a lot of content. Okay. So if you're gonna go with special, this one is going to be linked to your um, event, the, your limited time event, your story, and your challenge is here. And this one is one of the things that I haven't uh, worked on yet. It's an empty fantasy world. This one is also a f farming stages for you. So these are like side events, I think. So going back. So going to one day. Um, let's start with Aris Mammals then. So for Aris Mammals then. So these are materials that you will be farming for leveling up equipment. Okay, so take note of that. These are going to be important to you. Uh, if you want to level up your equipment, it has a nightmare stage as well. So please do take note to switch between general and nightmare. Um, check with the other stages that you are in. It might also have nightmare, nightmare stages. So for infinite dream, this is where you farm. It's it's like a tower, you know, progression something. Um, I mean now at 30 to 35. Um, I haven't started this yet, so make sure that you don't, when you're at 3, you use it so that you can move further. And if you can't move further, you can actually just challenge it. So again, uh, more or less, guys, um, this is where, especially if you're in, in the early game, this is where you get bunch a, a bunch of your equipment from. Uh, make sure that you farm these. As you grow higher, you're, you're going to be getting SSR equipment. So make sure that you also participate and challenge this one. The currency is different, as you can see. So going back, Whirlpool. This is going to be uh, farming for your rune. So your rune actually gives you additional abilities and additional stats. So as you go higher, you can battle it and sweep the stage. And take note that uh, different runes fall on different days. So as you can see here, we have different runes. So if you need a specific rune for that day, make sure you farm because it will take time to rotate again to that um, to, to those group of runes that you need for that time being. So again, th this is going to be open on Monday and Thursday. Then tomorrow it, it will be a different set of runes. Okay. So going back, you have academy materials. As you can see, as you can remember, sorry. Um, your academy is, uh, what they call this, is important because if you want to specialize in some or in some of the, um, the, what they call this, in some of the character classes, then you need to make sure that you have materials to 
um, upgrade your academy. So you can farm them here and they open on different days as well. So please make sure that you farm this daily and let's do a sweep. So just one sweep here and we're good. Okay, so that's academy materials. Then this one is farming for gold. I, I kind of noticed that I haven't farmed gold that much. So you want you might want to hold back on farming here for gold. And the last one is farming for experience, which I haven't opened yet because I haven't progressed that far in the story. So that is it, guys. Um, it's been a long, you know, comprehensive review. Um, so far, if you want to ask me what is my honest opinion in the game, uh, I can't hold, you know, my happiness that this game came out and I was able to play it. It's actually up my personally. It's up my alley in terms of what I want to play. Um, it actually takes time to play this game. Uh, if you want quick games, more or less, um, this one is not going to be your game. This one is for um, those who want to, you know, to go over a lot of content. Uh, but if you like a lot of content, then definitely this game is for you. So, so far, it has been exciting. It's not going to be a quick game, I'm sure. Um, especially if you're if you are starting out, just starting out. So let's see here. There is a gift. So if you're especially if, if you're starting out, you're gonna be grinding a lot in this game. And um, let's do some gameplay, guys. Uh, let's do. I think I have uh, one for you. Not here. Difficulty hard. So this is 33. Let's do a challenge here while we talk about things. So, so basically for this game, um, it's 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 very it's very. I'm gonna, just gonna put this on auto while we you know while we talk about things. Okay, so let's just uh, breeze through this. Let's do an auto. Okay, so gameplay wise, um, gameplay, it's a placement, it's a mix of characters, it's a mix of skills, and also making sure that you're all leveled up. Uh, not only your character, your rune, your trait, your equipment. So it's all that. So it's it's a tactical RPG, grid based, turn based. It uh, more or less uh, sets a lot of complex movements uh, in a battle. So just have to you have to make sure that the sequence is right, placements are right, and you're good. Sometimes um, auto is good, especially if you know that you're overwhelming your enemies. But auto is not really the answer to every content that I've had so far. So. This one is, I'm um, just gonna try to clear this one on auto and see if uh, we can clear this with auto. Um, again, the gameplay is very nice. Um, it's uh, It has some strategy in terms of build, in terms of who you're gonna be playing with who. So that is it. Um, hopefully, it continues. It's, uh, what do you call this? It continues its... Uh, it's a wave of uh, very... The game so far is, is actually impressive. So I want to put it that way. Um, I know I'm, I'm sounding like I'm biased to the game. But for me, the experience has been very, very good. And it's more than what I have expected so far. So again, I am going... I'm actually happy to play this game. And hopefully you guys are happy to play this as well. So... Again, we're just gonna be finishing this battle. Um, it's all on Torbo anyway. So if you guys have any comments, questions on gameplay, content, is it worth playing? Is it worth your time in playing every day? How long is, you know, how long does one, you know, one, one play session take? So it really it depends up to you. For me, I actually play this game two or three times a day. 
So definitely one in the morning, one in the evening, and if I can play one in between, I will. So that is um, because you have such a low energy available to you that you need to play it multiple times in a day. So as you can see, uh, gift acquired. Okay, so sorry if you hear something in the background, that's rain. So it's, it has been hot the whole day. So sorry for the background noise. If you can hear a little bit more of rain. So, so far, so far I'm happy with the team I built. So two warriors, one tanker, and one, uh, what do you call this? One priest. Because again, they could they could really take it, and most of the builds that I have for my warriors have life steal. So not really. I'm not saying that it's a pretty easy build that I have, but again, it took me a while to build this one. I still do need more. I need um, probably a priest, a rain, a shooter, and a mage. So far, I also have a ranger, but I'm not using the ranger. Rangers are very risky in auto because they tend to go first and they're squishy. So usually for auto, I don't bring my rangers to the battle. Um, he's dead. Okay, so I lost the battle. I'm just going to withdraw this one. It was on auto, but at least you get to see some of the gameplay. So, um, if you guys are wondering, this is in KR. And can you do a purchase? If you, if, you're, if you really want to do a purchase, can you do a purchase? So, let's say I'm going to do a purchase now. This, this is applicable more or less to... So, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, I'm on a PC client. It took me to a payment screen, which is loading. Okay, so yeah, for for my region, I'm in the Philippines. Um, the payment methods are here, applicable to the Philippines. So I'm not sure if this is available in your region, um, but if 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 other payment options applicable to your region show up, then you can pay, uh, and you can pay for the store in this game. So again, um, if you want to start with the KR version of um, of Archland. It's really playable with English and with payment options available as well. Okay, so just want to go through. Um, I'm going to share the link to the description of this um, site. So it's Pridewen GG. These guys are very impressive in terms of their guides. They have guides as well for other games. So this is their guide on how to install the English patch. So just take a look at it. I won't explain a lot of these. I just follow the instructions and voila, it's there. So I'm just going to paste this one in the description. And you guys feel free to check them out. They are a very good bunch of, um, of uh, people that have put together a lot of guides for a lot of games already. Okay, so that is it. Um, just want to have, um, just want to have one, you know, one thought that I was thinking of, um, if you guys are playing this and if you decide not to go over to global, just in case global comes out, by the way, I'm still playing global despite being playing this. I'm just playing this for the experience so that I could, you know, better give you guides for global. But again, um, the translation here needs fixing. Some there are some problems in translation in, ter in terms of uh, the meaning. Some are translated, but again, you don't understand some of the translation. So, if you're gonna go through uh, KR with all of these, it's it's up to you. It depends on on your choice. I also want to say that if you have difficulty in the translations, go to Pridewin. That link. In the description um some of the skills there are they have better translations there so you may go through there so that is it guys so so far this has been a long and very extensive review um if you ask me should you play it yes if you like these types of games which is grid based tactical turn based um i think this is one of the best games that i've seen so far 
uh, with the right type of tactics, grid play, turn-based strategy, and it keeps you hooked. It has keep it, it has kept me hooked for ten days, to be honest, and I'm enjoying the game so far. So I hope you do too. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. Looking, uh, I hope you look forward to future videos for Arkland from my channel and guides from me. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. Stay safe.